<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Genshin Impact lovers, welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction. A very important one, might I add. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, we will be reacting to Farina's character trailer, the Hydro Archons character, or sorry, not character trailer, character demo. I left excuse, excuse me, I just woke up. But um, now that I'm free, I know I'm a little late to the party with this. Now that I'm free from work, I've been beyond busy doing all the stuff, trying to enjoy myself. But I cannot forget about Farina. I am very on the fence about her. Ever since I met her in the story all those months ago, when version 4.0 came out, I was very confused because at first I thought I would love her. I was saving a long time for her. And then when I met her, I was like, wow, she's very sassy. She's very spunky. She's a little bit of a brat. And I was like, damn, you know, like, I, I don't like her. She's kind of messing with the traveler. But then we see like she's actually kind of a coward and kind of stupid. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like her. <clears throat> now, at the time of recording this, the last part of the Fontaine story has come out. I have not played it yet, but that is probably going to be the most important part to know about Farina, because that's where a lot of her story is probably going to be revealed on what's going on, who is she, what is she, why she's important. Because so far, she's really doing Jack Diddley squat. Like, she's really just in the story just to be there as a red herring. This is where, like I said, at first I really liked her. I even saved a lot of primos for her. And then those all ended up going to New Valette, which I recorded on YouTube. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, we are here now for Farina. Her banner is active, and I'm very on the fence about rolling for her. I don't know if I should get her. I've been hearing from everyone that she's really, really good. That she's broken, that she's amazing, she's a great sub-DPS support. And from what I've seen, because I've watched all the videos about her, she really is that good. So the issue is, why am I having trouble rolling for her? Well, it all goes back to Nouvellet. I want to use her with the Nouvellet team. And the issue is, you know, I'm, I'm a little spoiling right now for the Nouvellet rolling, but if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it, right? Go watch it right now before I say this. <coughs> but I essentially did not get C1 Nouvellet. C1 Nouvellet would have solved all my issues I've had with Farina. And Farina in general is a very dangerous character. She is the Archon. But her playstyle, being the Archon, is very unique. She has 100% uptime, you know, wow, what a surprise. The Archons are, are good. But she really makes your team squishy as hell. And the biggest thing I don't like is, I have to play her with an AoE healer. And for the longest time, I always said, I hate Bennett, I hate Bennett, I don't like that you have to use Bennett and everything. And lo and behold, now you are not required, but it's better to use stuff other than Bennett, like let's just say Jean, right? It's better to use Jean with Farina. But I don't want to level and fucking gear my Jean. I was like, damn, now, now I've become tied to the Bennett. So it's basically boiling down to I don't have C1 Nouvellette, sadly. And I don't want to use AoE healers. I don't have geared because gearing is a fucking bitch. So basically, I don't want to play the game is what I'm saying. But aside from that, I really do want to roll her because I do believe in the future I will eventually get C1 Nouvellette because I'm going to go for it. And it's just like everything I'm hearing from is crazy. And what's sad is someone like Ye Miko, who in my opinion, you know, aside from the ult, is very similar to Farina. She has summons, right? Ye Miko summons the towers. I love things that do the work for you. So I'm so confused why I don't like Farina. And I think it's because the attack speed of the little, the little Salon Solitaire members. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's just so many little things where it's like, it's holding me back from really just going straight gung-ho for her. Because after this, we have Navia. I don't think I really give a fuck about Navia. I, I love Navia in the story, you know, she's great. She's nice. But um, in terms of Geo teams, I'm not really looking for those right now. And after Navia, I want to save up for hopefully Arlecchino. And hopefully Skirk. And you know, I barely know anything about Skirk because I haven't done the story yet. But I've seen her, and I already love her. So Arlecchino and Skirk are high on the list, and I'm already kind of poor with the Primo, so I don't even know if I'm going to get Farina. And gearing her is a bitch, too, because you have to get freaking Festering Desire, which I don't have, even though I'm a Genshin Boomer. Of course, the time I didn't play was right when it came out, and then I came back to the game. <coughs> so that's that. 
and then every other weapon i don't want to do fishing to get her primary weapon. It, it's like a whole bunch of stuff to, to get off the soapbox here for a second it's a whole bunch of little menial stuff that to me matters of why i'm not rolling for farina yet i don't know if i'm gonna hold that but we gotta see we, we gotta definitely see but anyway um also i gotta see if we react to this as as well i gotta see what that is that's the story teaser so i gotta see anyway we might be reacting to multiple things now that i'm looking because i'm so late this was what i was planning to react to but we might react tomorrow so let's see her character demo which is probably going to show off her kit i believe but according to the other trailers for all the character demos this should hopefully be pretty good but let's see en enough of me talking uh, 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 uh. oh Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the most spectacular show in the history of Fontaine. Oh, Please shit. Put your hands together for our national icon. Yeah, the national Fontaine's bitch. Oh, we yes. Oh, the Regina. The Look at her just sipping her fucking tea, bruh. Oh, shit. Look at her! Look at her legs! She's so cute! Look the way she runs along. <laughs> oh! Little announcement. Oh! She's gonna sing for us? Oh shit! Oh! Oh! She's so cute! I love her, her like, jazz. Whoa, what the? Oh! Oh, she's like, wait! Oh shit, my dear vassal, this is not what you can lightly handle. What the fuck? Wait, that's so cute. Wait, she's beating a seal. The seal doesn't even fight back. Yeah, look, it's like looking at her like, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, the crab is confused. <laughs> okay, this is so accurate. She's beating the poor wildlife. Oh my. Oh shit, it's like JoJo, they're just beating its ass. And her, she can stand on water. Yo, she's so cute. Oh, she's dancing with this. Oh. Yo, I love how she hugs it. I think that's her favorite. Yo, her dance is so cute. Yo, she just fucked Mademoiselle. What the fuck is this, a circus? Yo, she really loves being stared at. Oh my god, she gave them money. She probably is rich too. Oh shit, her hat. Yo, I would take that. Ooh. Yo, she's so cool. Oh my god. I hate her so much. She's such a... She's so stupid. <laughs> Look at this shit. She's such a diva. Like, everything's about her. She's such a narcissist. And the best part is she has, like, internal, like, struggles about this. Oh. Bruh. Oh shit, Child's running from that! <laughs> That's hilarious. Wait, what? Nuvalette's getting arrested? Oh, that's probably what she wants, isn't it? Wow, what are they doing to Liddy? Wait, she's trying to help from the- Oh my god, she took off his head! Wait, this is insane, what the fuck? Love her ult, the way her ult looks is amazing. Oh, damn, the music's going crazy! Look at her, she's like a fucking princess. Look at this shit. What the- Oh my god, she's just having fun. This is like a Disney fucking musical. Wow. W wow. That was a bit- Dude. If no- And I, I say this every fucking time, man. I honestly say this every fucking time. But it's like... The, the character demos are getting so fucking good. Like, they're so, so amazing. Oh, my God. Like, you see a whole storyline, and it exemplifies Farina's personality so well. And I don't even know how to accurately describe it. But she's such, like, a fucking little princess. Like, it's all about her. Like, she wants all the spotlight on her. And the best part is, like, I keep saying... Uh, excuse me. That's not the best part. That's the worst part. Um, The best part, like I keep saying, <clears throat> is that... Like, internally, she's kind of, like, unsure of all this. Like, she, she's a she's a fucking con artist. She's a she's a sham. She's a hack artist. She's a phony. She's a big, fat phony. Like, she doesn't believe in herself. She has a lot of, like, internal struggle. But she has to keep up the, the facade. It's so cool. I love Farida. When I saw she... In <clears throat> Excuse me. When I saw she internally struggled, I was like, yo, I love this character. Because 
if you don't see the internal struggle, you're just gonna think, wow, she's just a bitch. But no, she's putting up, like, she's putting up airs. It's so good. This whole trailer was so fucking good. I love this shit. Yet again, and this is where I'm scared now, because now the more Genshin's winning, the more I'm scared that eventually they're gonna lose, because eventually everything ends, right? All the good stuff ends. So eventually Genshin won't create good stuff anymore, but I hope that's not for a long time, because god damn, this shit is good. Dude, all the character demos and the character trailers are so fucking good. Like, this was so cute. You see fucking Clarin chasing her around, making sure she's okay. And she's doing things that she thinks is good, but it's like realistically nothing. And she, she's just having fun, yo. I love Farida. Farida's so funny. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see if we're going to do a double reaction. What What is this video right here? Is this for the music, or is this an actual trailer? I'm not sure what this is, but, uh... This is a story teaser for La... I, I'm a little scared to say that because I feel like it might sound wrong if I say it. It might sound like something sexual. But let's see what this is. I'm confused what this is. Or should this be separate? Is this for Navia? I'm so confused. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, this is an angry crowd. Wait, what? Is this a stage? She's here. Or is this for an event? Oh, it's probably for an event. Oh, it's Farina! Oh, shit! <clears throat> oh. Is that French? Oh, shit. Oh. This is probably some story spoilers, but who knows? Ooh. Yo, Farina is so hot. Oh, my God. Her singing is so pretty. Is this like old Fontaine? This is so cool. This looks like Mondstadt. Oh shit. Letting the water flow. Hey yo, why is that guy kissing the water? Oh. Wait, what is going on here? I don't understand. This is probably spoiling the story. I have no clue what the fuck's going on here. It's that story teaser. You can reveal your secret to no one. Wait, what? You will face suffering and loneliness. Oh shit. Is this truly what you want? Oh shit, what is going on? Oh my. What the fuck? Oh no, I guess she left him. What is going- is that her lover? Oh shit! Oh my... Oh... No, he's sad! He lost his lover! I guess before she was a bitch... Wait, what is she doing? She better like... She better jump off? Yo, she looks so sad! Yo, her- Her fashion is so good though. Oh shit, what? She's getting a vision? But she's the Archon, do they need a- what what the what the fuck is going on? What the hell? I don't understand what's happening. I don't think I'm supposed to. See, I really hope they don't show that in the story now. Cause like if they if they show that in the story, granted, I guess seeing it now doesn't matter because like I I have no clue what the fuck's happening. Obviously, I could garner some things, but like I said, I didn't do the um. I didn't do the final arc of the story that just came out. Oh my god, what is that? Oh shit. Stand drone. But anyway, god, now I'm just gonna get Genshin shit. But um <clears throat> yeah, this is uh this is definitely interesting. I, I know there's more to Farina than meets the eye, and I heard the last section uh is like at least four hours from what I heard, but that's pretty long. But uh, I'm very excited to play it. I I'm gonna get to it soon, I swear, even though I'm finally you know free from work. I've been, like I said, very busy, so I don't know when I'm going to get into it, but eventually will. But let me just make sure there's nothing else I need to react to. So there's this, there's this, Mortal Tale. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that is. That's some bullshit. And then we have Collected Miscellany for Charlotte and for Farina. So we might as well do the one for Farina. I don't think we did that one yet. So let's just get that one out the way. This is going to be everything Farina. I'm probably going to title it that too. I, I only expected to do one thing and now I'm doing three. But anyway... Let's see this shit. So, Lady Farina's oh. dramatic twists never fail to amaze. You yeah, can okay. Never predict Look at the dog. Next song will be a rousing soprano or a melancholy contralto. Well, that other one was melancholy for sure. The audience's gaze. 
audience. Aw. She loves the audience's gaze. That was gaze. a snippet from one of the most popular editions of the Steambird. Oh, probably from Charlotte. <sighs> oh. I knew you'd miss me. Oh, I do. Dude, like, look at that. She's so full of her fucking self. Like, I, that's the part I hate, but I love at the same time. Also, why for right here above Hydro it has question marks? What the fuck is that? Oh, another thing. Her weapon is probably one of the best looking weapons in the game. I love her weapon. Her weapon is so well designed. Holy shit. Farina has an entourage of Hydro proficient companions to assist her in various Look at all of them. They probably had to get two Farinas to do that, by the way. To show her gratitude, she occasionally invites them to her tea parties. Oh. She's like Big Mom from One Piece. With the One world's piece. doors open wide before her, the notion of a stage is not so narrowly defined. The whole world is While her Farina stage. While Farina is in the party, the cooldown of xenochromatic Fontamer aberrant skills is reduced. So that's nothing. That's useless. Farina's normal attack can combo up to four sword strikes, dealing- See, that little- that little twist right there on the bubble, that reminds me of Dory, and I think that's fucking lazy. Because I feel like it, it shares too much with Dory, animation-wise. And I hate Dory. Dory sucks. I think everyone hates Dory. Physical damage to enemies. <laughs> Using a charged attack consumes a set amount of stamina to oh. unleash her Paso Aura. Whoa. Dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. <laughs> and just changing Farina's on them. Arca alignment. Whoa. Like, look at that. Her outfits are so cool. Periodically, when Farina's normal attack... Wait, she has only short hair in that. Breath thorn what? Or a surging blade descends on the enemy, Wait, dealing new... she only gains long hair in, like, the other form? I didn't know she has short hair in one of them. Uh, wow. I didn't notice that. On her current oh, line. shit. Hey, she loses her hair. Wow. What the fuck? Her elemental skill invites the guests of the Salon Solitaire. I love her guests. To They're so her silly. Look at them. When Farina's Arca <laughs> alignment is Usia, she scatters one. a spray of celebratory bubbles, dealing AOE hydro damage based on her max HP. This is the only one and that matters, the by the way. Of the Salon <laughs> Look at them. They're just beating him up. Namely, Gentilhomme Usher the Ball Octopus. Oh Sir shit! Intendant Cheval Moran the Bubbly Seahorse. I love the seahorse. And Mademoiselle Crabaletta the Armored Crab. Look at her. She looks pissed. The salon members periodically oh attack God. nearby enemies, prioritizing the active character's target, and deal hydro damage based on max HP. My God! Look at them. When They're a salon just beating it attacks, up. The strength of the attack increases based on the number of nearby party members whose current HP is over a certain percentage, and wow. consumes some HP from them. Damn. The more characters that meet the requirements, the greater the increase. Damn, yo. Wait, let me, let me see that again. What's the, the damage difference? So 1,900 to 2,200. I see. Damn. The greater the I mean, that's not that big that it looks like here because the numbers are small, but that's a pretty big difference later on. When Farina's Arca alignment is Numa, she the one that summons the matter. singer of many waters, which this is periodically only for fluff. heals nearby active characters by an amount based on max HP. If Farina's elemental skill summons are on the field when she uses a charged attack, the lineup switches to match her new Arca alignment. This has 100% uptime, the by the way. The salon members and it's singer of many broken. waters share a duration. So when the lineup changes, the new guests inherit the remaining duration. <laughs> While salon members or Look at singer this of shit. many waters exist, She's Jesus. can walk on water. She's fucking Jesus. She can infinitely After walk on water. After talent unheard confession, Oh. Farina's elemental skill is enhanced in two ways. There's, oh Damage shit. Damage dealt by salon members is increased. Remine. And the interval between heals so cool. from the singer of many waters is decreased. I wish he looked Both cooler. scaling with max HP. Whoa. The maximum buff that can be <laughs> obtained this way has a certain limit. Time to shine! Dude, look at her old hurl. This is so funny. Harnessing the spirit of revelry. Farina's elemental burst creates a stage of bubbles and foam hey, yo. that deals AoE hydro damage based on her max HP and causes all party members to enter the Universal Revelry state. Yeah, this ult is broken. While in Universal Revelry state, each time a nearby party member's HP rises or falls, Look at how it scales with new Vlad, bro. Farina it's still gains crazy. one stack of fanfare per 1% of their max HP that is gained or lost. Fucking wild. The damage dealt by and incoming healing bonus of all nearby party members will be increased based on Farina's fanfare. When the duration ends, all stacks of fanfare are clear. Whoa. 
See, it sounds so simple, but it's so broken because it gives seventy-five percent damage. And flow like an endless oh my God! Look at her; she's so cute. Wow. After unlocking the talent Endless Waltz, oh shit, ball! The active character in your party receives healing. If the source of the healing is not Farina herself, then the healing overflows. Then <laughs> Farina yeah, will yeah, periodically heal yeah. a nearby party member by a certain percentage of their max HP for a short duration. After. Yeah, so the best person she's with is Jean, literally. Jean, Baiju. Well, Farina prefers the Opera House stage to the theater of combat. Oh. She has some insight into the common ground between battle and acting. Oh, oh no, she doesn't. She's ass. An performance into a tour de force. But she cannot fight. There's Farina's no way. Primary tool in combat is her elemental skill. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. Look at Rios is just a fucking beating their By ass. Her this is perma freeze. <laughs> She can change her aura Bro, she works so well. She battle. works so well with everyone. You're never gonna use this, by the way. This stupid arc bell alignment shit, you're never full, gonna use Farina it. 90% of, of, of the time, you're gonna bubbles. use the fucking she salon members. From her fellow party members. She their yeah, Nubla literally just like building up maxes a glorious this. Finale fit for the finest Look, opera. shit, they sold the crown like two seconds. Are well, you I kidding me? I can't claim much expertise when it comes to opera. I have heard that actors often rehearse in front of the mirror. Oh, I on certainly the one don't. Hand, they need to immerse themselves in the character and the scene. Wait, what the fuck? And on the Why other, is there two linies? They must see themselves from the perspective oh, of the audience. Oh, I get it. To decide whether He's their describing act is it. emotionally compelling. Yo, look at Farina. I'm sure that Farina too has spent time adjusting her technique in front of the mirror all alone. Yeah, too much time, I would I say. Wonder, who is it? That she really Ooh, sees. Oh, story implications. Back. Story implications. Oh my god, she's crying. Dude, I can't wait to play the story. I want to find out what's going on with her. Like, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. But yeah, so I guess that's everything finally for Rina. I think watching this stuff and just kind of letting everything sit, I do think I'm probably going to roll for her. I'm not going to feel well about it. And if I don't roll for her, I'll regret it. And if I do roll for her, I'll probably regret it too. <clears throat> but um yeah i'm probably gonna roll for her but but we'll see anyway either t you know whatever's gonna happen it's gonna happen on twitch tv slash technics channel so tune in there to see and then also i'm probably gonna upload it to youtube anyway so that's gonna happen anyway i hope everyone enjoyed uh this is basically my reactions to everything farina hopefully we're done with her aside from the story and uh that'll be about it <laughs>